and we care about people and we know that it's a hard message and we have to call out sin because okay how can a person be convicted of alcohol if if you don't talk about it you know you have to talk about the sin so there can be conviction of right. sin you know and then that's what opens them up and a lot of times people get angry because what they doing is they resist conviction like when you see somebody getting angry it's because they resisting conviction they yeah. resist in the truth yet when it starts to resonate in their spirit you can see some they start to humble themselves and they really start to listen so you know we just out here to preach the word of god and and try to get people saved bro you know so yeah that was you know they said that that the guy that was in the car you said that was your your cousin right yeah and yeah. you know i love him and you know he doesn't he believes you know we've had this discussion he doesn't believe in god he believes in some higher power mm -hmm. but you know that's fine everyone's entitled to their own thing it's just <clears throat> And I understand that's what the Bible says. I just, with today's day and age, the way everything, the world's changing, you know. Yeah. You know, and I understand that's what's in the Bible, but everything's changing. I don't. Yeah, but just because the world's changing and the culture's changing, it doesn't mean that God's word is changing. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Yeah, His word is unchangeable. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That he changes not. So, you know, the world's gonna change, and they're gonna be able, they're gonna turn to do their own thing. But God's word stays the same. And the thing is, when we come to God, we, we have to conform to His ways. That means we got to turn away from the world, yeah. you know, and, and turn to the Lord and begin to live a holy life. Well, I know? mean, the way I've always looked at it, and you know, I'm, I'm, you probably don't agree with me on this, but I've always looked at it as, you know, you're born a height. You know, you can't change your height, right? Well, you can with the surgery, but, you know, people who are born gay, you know, a lot of them, you don't choose to be gay. They're just gay. And that's how I look at it. You know, that might not be how everyone looks at it, but well, it, it's like height, it's like gender, it's like everything else, you know? Yeah, and, but still in all, according to God's word, if that's what you believe, yeah, we still have an issue because God's word says that it's a sin that no one who's practicing it will enter into his kingdom. You know, so it's God's way. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to man, but it ends in death. So if so, I support gays, am I a sinner then? I mean, if you are a real Christian, the only way you would support them is by um, reasoning with them to turn away from that so that they can get right with God. You wouldn't support them in their sin. You would say, look, I want you to turn away from this because I want you to be born again. I want yeah. you to get right with God. But just yeah. look at it logically. Like, I don't think if you're born gay, right, you can't just convert yourself to straight. And it's just like me. You know, I'm straight. I can't, you know, I can't just turn around and be like, oh, look, I'm gay now, you know? But listen, you know, that's that's an argument right there, what you're saying, that's really not, it's not proven, you know? That's just an opinion that people say they're born gay. And my, I believe that no one's born gay. A man is born a man and a woman's born a woman. The Bible says in the beginning, God created man and woman yeah. and he commanded them to be fruitful and multiply. A man and a man cannot be fruitful and multiply. A woman and a woman cannot be fruitful and multiply. So if you think about this, the devil comes into a person's life through some type of emotional trauma rejection hurt brokenness and he yeah, begins and to agree with he begins that. to They're, deceive that person yeah because look the devil wants to distort the image of god yeah. we are created in the image of god but yet the devil wants to distort it and destroy it so that's what he does he brings in all kind of confusion and a, a person has to really recognize look you know, I'm a man, yeah. and this is not right. I need to do what men do, and I need to humble myself, and I need to get right. Same thing with a woman, too, though, you know? Yeah. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's just like it goes back to the Bible where it says, you know, there's a way that seems right to a man, but it ends in death. A lot of times we try to reason things out with our own opinion, yet it's not God's way, you know? And, and it ends in death. We get deceived. 
and see a person has the right to choose what they want to choose yeah. but if their way is not God's way according to the word of God they're going to be judged and I stand as a testimony sir that the Lord is true he's faithful I live by faith he answers my prayers uh, I'm committed to him and God's word is true it's been tested in my life so we're going to be judged according to his word and that's why we all need to come to this place where we like God I really I really sincerely I want to get right with you and well, if being gay isn't normal, then what is? It? That'd be like saying, you know, you can't wear pink, you know, because you're a guy. It's just, I don't know. It, the, the whole thing with that, you know, because I grew up in a church where, you know, that it's just like you said, it's a sin. Okay, well, look, how about this? You know, you got an intake and you got an outtake. You create it like that. God designed your body a certain way. You see, this part's not not made for anything to go in it's designed for stuff to come out yeah so that right there just common sense logic tells you that god did not design the body for that so what it is it's the reason why it's a sin it's a violation of god's original design that's what sin is it's a violation of god's original design god originally made that person a man yet that man is acting outside of what God created them and it's the same thing with other things you know God didn't create us to be drunkards God didn't create us to be sexual moral or be perverts like today in this age people they got pornography and, and young kids they 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 get into that and what it does is it destroys their morality it messes them up and they yeah. get all messed up and well, God we, you we know had a situation like that we went to uh me and him his dad and mom both worked at Gulf Breeze United Methodist and they uh y'all might have seen it in the uh, news Brian Walsh uh -uh. he actually he got arrested he was our youth pastor he was one of our best freaking friends and mm -hmm. you know he got he got arrested on some charges for you know being with one of the little girls and yeah oh. it's yeah it, it, and you know it's super sad to hear because you know it's it's like it, you know someone and then you don't yeah you know what I mean yeah, yeah and, and you know it, it's the devil and it, it, it takes us to keep ourselves, you know? Yeah. It says those who are born again, they keep themselves and the wicked one does not touch them. So, you know, just like you have a responsibility, I have a responsibility, and our responsibility is to keep ourselves in alignment with God's word and to resist temptation, to get strong in prayer, yeah. and, you know, to, to keep fellowship with God that way we don't fall away with what with everything with everybody else and and you know people's they they falling into rebellion you, you seeing it i'm seeing people that uh, used to preach they're not preaching no more they turning away and you know there's a war out here you know and if we don't stay focused we can easily be overtaken and before you know it deception is so subtle you just drift away from the word a little bit you drift away from prayer a little bit and then you get weakened and the enemy comes and he tempts you he pulls you away he gets you caught up in some things of the world and then you get entangled in it and before you know it you can't get out of so it so does god accept any race then yeah of course god god came he he sent his son to die for the entire human race yeah. you know god's not racist you know there's one race with god and it's the human race and, and jesus died for the entire human race and you know we see a lot of racism you know talking about that you know that yeah. comes from oh, yeah. the spirit of hatred right there you know there's a lot of hatred in the world right now and um you know god cares about people and the bible says that he he's not willing that no one should perish so he wants everybody to come to salvation but they got their free choice they can choose to go on and get drunk like that man just a while ago i was uh -huh. he, he mooned me and he was cursing me and you know he has his choice yeah. but god still has mercy on him if he's willing to come to him and um but it's always a willingness on our part because the bible says and this is Luke 9, 23. He says, anyone who desires to come after me must first deny themselves and pick up their cross yeah. and follow me. And it's not easy, you know, to follow the Lord. Everybody says it's easy, but it's really not. You, you know, you got to buffet your body. You got to discipline yourself. Yeah. You got to separate yourself from the things of the world. That's what holiness means. Separating yourself from the things of the world and giving yourself entirely to the Lord and allowing God to do a work in your life. It was nice to meet you, man. You I'm too. Head out. You have God a good bless day. you, man.